Hey guys, welcome back to Outside with Sharp. Today, we're gonna do something a little different. I got some canvas here. I need to put some holes in it, put some grommets in. Stick with me, we'll get right to it. All right guys, like I was saying, I am gonna put some holes in this canvas. Now, I already got it cut into two pieces, so let me turn you around here and show you what's going on. So, this used to be one piece of canvas I cut it down the middle because it's too wide for my wood piles so split it down the middle now I have two pieces but doing that let me show you this here I lost some grommets to put some tie downs on so I need to put one grommet in this one and three down this side here. So that's what we're gonna do today. I have one over here that's already on the pile. I'm gonna have to take back off, put some grommets in. Then the black one in front of that, I have two of those that I'm gonna put grommets in. They never had grommets in. So I use canvas because it's way better than your traditional tarp. You know what I mean? They hold up better, they last a hell of a lot longer. So let's get uh, let's get to doing this and see how good I do. So this is the first time I'm putting grommets in anything. We'll see how this goes and I mean, something's better than nothing, right? So this is what we're gonna use. I'll show you what's in here in a bit. So what we got in here are some tools this is your hole puncher this is going to punch the hole into the canvas and these two are basically for crimping your grommet on there so here's your top or bottom and here's your two grommet pieces so these basically go together like so and we'll put your grommet on. So that's what we're gonna do. So I need to get a piece of wood to put under this canvas so I can pop a hole in her and uh, we'll go from there. So I got my piece of wood. Might be a little overkill, but it's a piece of wood. Slide this under here, hopefully I don't jack anything up. All right, now we're good. So I put my hole right in this area. Traditional woodhound tool, a little hatchet. So let's pop a hole in here. Like so, we got our hole. <clears throat> we wanna put this under there, put your little anvil under there, <clears throat> put your little cap on top, and that's what this pointy tool is for, put it over the top, oh crap, it's stuck, well that didn't go as planned. Now I gotta get that off of there. I might have hit it too hard or I put the stuff in the wrong area. So let me fix this and I'll get right back to you. All right, since I jacked that first one up, I think I'm gonna fold it over and try to double it up here. Yeah, it's gonna make it look weird, but I just need it to work. So I'm gonna poke a hole through both pieces of the canvas. Like so. Okay. Put our anvil under. Actually, we'll put this guy. I think that's what I did wrong the last time. And have the canvas over top of that. So, let's see if this works. 
All right, we'll put our little thing over the anvil. Do a couple taps. Oh yeah, that worked much better. So the whole idea is to get this cone part through the canvas first, because that's going to peen over. So let's do another one on this other piece of canvas here. I'm not sure if I'm going to, let's try not folding it over on this one. So let's get our hole poked in here. Like so. Get one of these guys, put it through the canvas, put our anvil under there, <clears throat> and throw that guy on top. And that one's kind of stuck. So we'll see if we can get it out. I think I might be hitting it too hard. There we go. Just like that. Grommets in there and we're good to go. So I got two more to put in this one. So we'll move down to the end here. We'll put one in this end, one in the other end. It's nice because the, these <clears throat> places already had uh, a grommet in the end. So it's a little more reinforced. So let's move down to the ends. Like I was saying, as you can see here, there's more material here. It's tripled up, actually. So we'll get a better grommet here. I actually might put it right here because it's probably there's a few more layers here, which will make it a little more, a little more sturdy. This thing does a really good job. I don't know about the operator. He's not doing such a good job. So we'll get the canvas all around this little cone thing, like so. I don't know if you can see that or not, but you gotta make sure that's through there. It's pretty thick here, so again, put our anvil underneath. Make sure that's all pushed down in place. Put that guy on there. Get our little punch thingy. Four wax. And we're good. Just like that. All right. Let's move down to the other end. A few layers of canvas. Poker hole. There's our hole. <clears throat> Again, you gotta get your canvas down over this cone or you're gonna screw it up like I did the first time. So you wanna get that cone sticking through the canvas, like so. Not sure how good you can see it, but it's definitely sticking through the canvas. We'll put that on top, put our anvil on the bottom. Line it up with your anvil and let's pop it. Boom. Beautiful grommet. <clears throat> Pretty good. All right, we're going to get this other tarp here laid out and ready to go. So this tarp only needs one grommet but I'm pretty sure you guys get the gist. Again, get yourself a hard surface, put it on, put the tools in a bag so I won't lose them this time. So, poker hole, too easy. <clears throat> get our anvil out, get our two grommet pieces. Put this guy through the canvas. 
like so. It's much easier with just one layer. Much easier. <clears throat> Put that guy on top. Get our tool here. A couple good wax. Then we got our grommet. And just like that, I got my grommets in, I'm ready to go. So, it's starting to get warm again, fellas. Anyway guys, that's all I got. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure you can get these grommet kits anywhere, like Amazon. I mean, I'm sure if you search somewhere you can get these grommet kits and uh, fix grommets or put grommets and stuff that didn't have any grommets if you really want them but anyway guys that's all i have for today so if you like this type of stuff go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit that like button leave a comment down below tell a friend i'll see you guys in the next one Woo!